World War I, known at the time as the Great War, officially ended when the Treaty of Versailles was signed on June 28, 1919, in the Palace of Versailles outside the town of Versailles, France. However, fighting ceased seven months earlier when an armistice between the Allied nations and Germany went into effect on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. For that reason, November 11, 1918, is generally regarded as the end of the war to end all wars. In November 1919, President Wilson proclaimed November 11th as the first commemoration of Armistice Day with the following words. To us in America, the reflections of Armistice Day will be filled with solemn pride and the heroism for those who died in the country's service, with the gratitude for the victory, both because of these things from which it has freed us and has because of the opportunity has given America to show her sympathy with peace and justice in the councils of the nation. The original concept for the celebration was for a day observed with parades, public meeting, and a brief suspension of business meetings at 11 a.m. An act approved May 13, 1938 made the 11th of November each year a legal holiday to be dedicated to the cause of world peace and to be thereafter celebrated and known as Armistice. Armistice Day was primarily a day set aside to honor veterans of World War I, but in 1954, after World War II had required the greatest mobilization of soldiers, sailors, marines, and airmen in the nation's history. After American forces had fought aggression in Korea, the 83rd Congress, at the urging of the veteran service organizations, amended the Act of 1938 by striking out the word Armistice and inserting in its place the word Veterans. With the approval of this legislation on June 1, 1954, November 11th became a day to honor American veterans of all wars. Veterans Day continues to be observed on November 11th. Regardless of what day of the week on which it falls, the restoration of the observance of Veterans Day to November 11th not only preserves the historical significance of the date, but helps focus attention on the important purpose of Veterans Day. A celebration to honor American veterans for their patriotism, love of country, and willingness to serve and sacrifice for the common good.
Happy Veterans Day. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me and my country. We hope you've had a great day today since this day is the day that we celebrate you, even though we should celebrate you every single day. So once again, thank you. While we were here at home, they traveled land and sea to make sure we stayed safe, to protect us, to protect and keep us free. Words are not enough to give them what they're due. On Veterans Day, please thank them for the service to me and you. The missing man table, also known as the fallen comrade table, is steeped in symbolism. Each item on the table represents emotions and feelings reserved for those who did not come home. The ceremony symbolizes that they are with us here in spirit. All Americans should never forget the brave men and women who answered our nation's call to serve and fight for our freedom with honor. The table was smaller than the others, symbolizing the frailty of one prisoner alone against his or her oppressors. The table is separate from the others and can be set for one to four place settings to represent each service. It is round to show that our concern for them is never ending. white tablecloth draped over the table represents the purity of their response to our country's call to arms. The slices of lemon on the bread plate remind us of their bit of faith. The salt upon the bread plate represents the tears of their family. glass turned upside down reminds us that our distinguished comrades cannot be with us to drink, toast, or join the festivities of the evening. The black napkin stands for the emptiness these warriors have left in the hearts of their families and friends. The yellow candle and its yellow ribbon symbolize everlasting hope for a joyous reunion with those yet accountable. The single red rose reminds us of the lives of these Americans, their families, and loved ones. It signifies the blood that many have shed and sacrificed to ensure the freedom of the United States of America. The red ribbon represents the love of our country, which inspired them to answer the nation's call. The empty chair depicts an unknown face representing no specific soldier, sailor, airman, or marine, but all who are not here with us. Now, if you would please join us for a moment of silence. It is the veteran, not the preacher, who has given us freedom of religion. It is the veteran, not the reporter, who has given us the freedom of the press. It is the veteran, not the poet, who has given us freedom of speech. It is the veteran, not the campus organizer, who has given us freedom to assemble. It is the veteran, not the lawyer, who has given us the right to a fair trial. It is the veteran, not the politician, who has given us the right to vote. Land that 
guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans wide with foam. God bless America, my home, sweet home. God bless America, my home, sweet home. Good day. Greenwich County High School Marine Corps Junior ROTC Leadership Class would like to thank all veterans for their sacrifice and devotion to this country. Semper Fi. Order. Arm. Hoorah! This is Mr. Fletcher of Greenwich County High School. I would like to take this opportunity to thank each veteran and their family members for the enormous sacrifices that you each have made. Your sacrifices have given me and my family the opportunity to live and prosper in a nation that is truly free. Happy Veterans Day to each of you. They did their share. On Veterans Day, we honor soldiers who protect our nation. For their service as our warriors, they deserve our admiration. Some of them were drafted, some were just volunteers. For some, it was just yesterday, and for some, it's been many years. We owe so much to them who kept us safe from terror. So when we see a uniform, let's say thank you to everywhere. Happy Veterans Day. Thank you to all the service men and women. I appreciate my freedom, and I'm very thankful for the sacrifices that you make for our country. Thank you. Thank you for your service. 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 Dear veterans, those of us who have not served will never fully understand the sacrifices you've made both in times of peace and of war. We will never fully understand what you were required to do or how you were able to do it. We will never fully understand the depth of your scars, but what we can offer you is this. We see you, we recognize your humanity, and we send you love that is gentle, patient, and healing. With blessings and gratitude, we ask that you remember you are loved. Thank you.
thank you for your sacrifice and your service to this country. We can never show enough gratitude for you, what you do for our freedom. Thank you, veterans. To the servicemen who paid with their life to ensure our freedom again and to live without strife. Your sacrifice I commemorate in my humble way and your memory I celebrate on this Veterans Day. Standing in front of mist and dirt, they did not tremble. Longing for their families did not make them fall. For our country they stood, so that we may have comfort in our sleep. Remember in your heart and in those tears shed that these heroes fought to keep our lives lit ahead. they stand. With courage and hope they fight. The life they live is dangerous, treacherous, rough, and hard going. But when the fog clears, they are the ones who will stand. On Veterans Day, we honor all who answer to a service call. Soldiers young and old fought for freedom, brave and bold. Some have lived while others die, and all of them deserve our pride. We're proud of them all, of soldiers who kept thinking of the red, white, and blue. They fought for us and all of our rights. They fought through many days and through many nights. And though we may not know each name, we thank all of the veterans every single day and all in the same way. We would just like to take this time to say thank you for all your service. Thank you.